Hey guys, Fox here. Today I'm back with the next bullshit blitz that's going to take over the meta. I've talked about a lot of the other ones that have come through, like the 335 odd, a lot of the edge blitzes and the stuff that I've shown in my ebook and stuff in Detroit. But this one I think is, I don't know about worse. It's not worse than 335 odd, but it's it's pretty much up there. It, this comes from a competitive player, um, K Mac. I think he ran in an attorney once. Um, it was sent to me by somebody who saw his setup and you know just gave me the steps. So here it is. Cheers to, to K Mac for finding it. Um, I'm going to go over the blitz and I'm going to go over how to block it and how to counter it um, at the end of the video. So make sure and stay for that because you will want to know once this takes over. All right, so I want to show you the ends right now. Von Miller and Khalil Mack. I chose the best two rosters uh, for, for mutt practice or for, to simulate mutt practice mode. But I'm going to show you why the ends don't matter at all. Um, just give me a little bit. Um, let's just go cover three sky here and big nickel over G. Now this can be replicated in a lot of formations, oh, almost all of them. Um, and uh, yeah, it's... You'll, you'll see. All right, so the reason this is so good as I'm contra changing controllers. All right, so on defense, pinch your D-line, uh, slant them out. Now, now what I want to show you here, when you pinch your D-line, because of the A-gaps that were coming that got patched, instead of doing, like, you know, uh, improving logic for offensive linemen, I don't know what they do, but watch watch the linemen. Do you see those those uh, drop back, their, their play art, basically those uh, gray-white things on the field? Watch what happens when you hover. See how they change? So you go back, change, change. So those change when you hover right there. You can do it in that gap. You can do it in this gap. You can do it in this gap. They always change to make sure you can't A, A or B gap them with the user. Do they work out here? No. So it doesn't work out here. So you got to hover in the gap. A lot Traditionally, A gap. It's fine. So that changes. All right, you're like, okay, whatever. That's not a big deal, right? Well, it is kind of a big deal. So when you have this, so if you hover, let me see if I can do this with two hands. Um, so I'm hovering here. You don't have to hold right trigger, left trigger. You can because right there, wait till they're engaged. You don't have to engage with the user. But you see how fast that comes in? So that's that's Clue Mac. You're like, okay, that's Clue Mac. He's pretty good. Let's try, try it again. I'll show. It's kind of like a, a disengage type of deal. You don't have to stay there too long. I wait till they engage, then get around. So he gets kind of like a disengage sack. See how quickly that comes through? You can't step up in the pocket. I'll try and show you this. Show you stepping up in the pocket against this blitz. So wait. So yeah, get the... Pinch the line. I think it's wait till they set. Then uh, slant your D-line up. And then, uh, let's see if it has two hands. And then, uh, I didn't get it well there. That one didn't work as well. I don't know why, but it still came through. I mean, wait, wait, no, I want to show you how to step up. You can't step up on it. All right. Pinch your D-line, slant them up, hover here. All right. Now let's try and step up. Step up in the pocket and it's just disengage right into you. So you can't even step up in the pocket to stop it. They just get off that edge. All right. So you're like, all right, I mean, those, those are really good defensive ends. Let's try somebody with even worse. Let's go to like, what is it? Jones and I think Smith has bad or would David have less pass rushing? I think David would have the worst. All right. So it's big. Oh, whoops. Wrong big nickel. Wrong, wrong nickel. All right. Jones and David. All right, so let's let's watch it. Sometimes it even works better with worse players, and I have no idea. It works even better like this. All right, same play. Like even blocking a running back, I'll show you blocking a running back in a bit. All right, pinch down, slant up, hover. Now hit A, and disengage. Still there. So you got what two, three seconds? Uh, three seconds in the pocket, maybe. Down, up. But you're, you're sending four, and these guys are terrible pass rushers. They're getting home as fast as Mac and Vaughn. And that's as fast as you, like, that's that's a pretty fast four-man rush. All right, let's hover and disengage. It's like they give up. The tackles just give up their blocks. So it's like a disengage type deal. Um, so with that, how do you stop this? Oh, right, 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 I want to show you. Block a running back. So here are blocking a running back. All right, and do I got it? I think I got it. Still, I mean, like, one's coming off the edge. But it will try and block a running back and slide. Block a running back, slide left, how you normally do it. All right. Pinch up. All right. And hike. And what what happened there, did you see the, the running back ended up... So basically, it came, the guy came off the edge free. I want to show you. So the running back picked him up. See, the guy came off the right side of the screen free. So the running back picked him up. 
But if that's like if that's somebody better there rather than just somebody with such poor poor pass rush moves like Jones, if that is your in Mutt, your Khalil Mack, that's like a dead running back, right? It happens the other way too. I'll just show it off. Oops. Uh, so block running back, slide right. All right. And here we go. Same thing. See, the running back had to pick up. He got off the edge free. So just if you have a good, pa better pass rusher there, uh, they'll just instantly shed that running back because they don't have very good pass rushing stats. So how do you block it? All right, let's go. Let's audible. Basically, you need to call play action plays. So as we talked about with Master Gamer near the start of the year, do you see the play action blocking? He called this the bad blocking. It, for Against this blitz, though, it's the good blocking. So if you're going against an opponent who's getting these like quick sheds off your tackles, the disengage uh, pass rushes, call play action play. You can block your running back or not, uh, but I generally don't let the play action play out in this game because it's generally pretty bad. Um, so what you can do when you do this, uh, so so the, the pass block, oh, I'll show it to you. As I go into the gap, nothing changes there. So let's uh, let's snap it here. Whoops, snap it. Whoop, and so you get a little bit more time in the pocket there. Basically, they need to block shed instead of disengage. So that's the blitz. Uh, Let's do this again. Here we go. Audible to a play action. We'll watch it with a running back on a route even. So play action pass, running back on a route. Everything's set up. Hover in the gap. And it's much better blocking. See this? Sit in the pocket for a lot of time. So have a lot of like play action crossers. Bring those into your scheme if, if you don't already have them. Uh, play action plays, play action go. Basically this eats regular pass blocking for dinner but it, the pass block the play action does a lot better against it of course you'll still get sheds four man against five man but with this like if they're pinched and stuff and like say you have a uh uh you know play action play say you need a play action play you can you can you can run roll out against this a lot better um one opponent also motioned in his wide receiver um when i was testing it out line today and that 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 helped that game a lot of time blocking how many is it blocking? Uh, seven. But yeah, the play action really shuts it down. So do that. So welcome to Online Madden. Um, it is what you're going to have to do. Hopefully EA patches this ASAP. I'll try and uh, tag some developers uh, and uh, hopefully get it to on Twitter. Hopefully they can look at it and patch it in the next patch. But that's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.